what is Galatians 6? Paul has turned to what may have been an instance where vainglory provoking one another, envying one another. Galatians 5 verse 25b may have already become a problem among the Galatian believers. In our last reading, Paul addressed the remedy for one having been overtaken in a fault and stated it would require involve those among the Galatian believers which are spiritual. Example, one's not found walking in works of the flesh, law living. In order to address the issues, today we continue with Paul's instruction. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teach it in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall be of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Galatians 6 verses 6 to 8. Let's take a closer look. In Galatians 6 verse 6, Paul states, Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teach it in all good things. Many have tried to make this only about paying the preacher, when in fact it goes far beyond any financial consideration. For as it relates to teachers of the rightly dividing word who are follower, following Paul's instruction, and the things that Do has heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit Do to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. 2 Timothy 2 verse 2. The real payoff is reproducing after one kind per the underlined portion. So one of the greatest things the student can give the teacher of the word is to be faithful, to learn, and then come to teach others also. Paul then introduces a teaching on sowing and reaping by prefacing it with, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. And as relates to God's principle of sowing and reaping, this could possibly refer to God's creation, related principle of seed time and harvest. This was put in place at the time God created the earth, when God said in Genesis 8, verse 22, As long as the earth exists, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Essentially, God created an order of things that permeates all of his creation, and in this he cannot be mocked by man's deceptive efforts. Paul then continues regarding God's principle of sowing and reaping in the balance of Galatians 6, verses 7 to 8. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. This shows that the principle of seed time and harvest, even in this time of God's grace, goes beyond planting, harvesting cycles extending to the beliefs and resulting living out of those beliefs by believers. The application in this earthly life is that there are always consequences for the choices of individuals, good or bad, and thus. In this regard, believers reap results according to how, what they sow. At least some of the Galatians had been deceived by those of the circumcision, and were sowing to the flesh via attempted obedience, participation in the law, and circumcision covenants. And the point is that this sowing to the flesh would result in those that sow it to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. This was particularly true for these those deceived Galatians might seek to influence others by sharing another gospel which is not another, 
and what was in fact a perversion of the gospel of the grace of God that Paul had shared with them. But Paul also reminds, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. So for the continued ambassador efforts of the Galatians, remaining true to the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began. Romans 16, verse 25. The reaping of spiritual life by the work of the Holy Spirit would continue. Believer, understand that the doctrine you believe really does matter because of the principle of sowing and reaping, seed time and harvest, as reaping is the result of sowing, and believers reproduce after their kind. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.